Rob Edmondson's coaching style wasn't for everybody. Assertive, brash, and demanding. But there was a reason behind it all. That's pretty important. Love you so much. I'll see you soon. Um, I'm probably more passionate and more demanding and expect more because I understand those kids don't understand how fragile life is. And I want them to, to experience winning, to experience every day being as good as they can be because I know what life's like when the next day it's not there. Following the passing of his son Corbin in 2011, every loss hurt more, but every win felt that much sweeter. And so every day he demanded the best because he wanted to get the best out of each player. He's like our dad. <laughs> I mean, that's as, that's as personal as it get. Um, nothing's ever personal on the court. Like you said, uh, you may hate me on the court, but you're gonna love me afterwards. So that's kind of our relationship, even though we love him on the court as well. That's a big compliment. <laughs> that's a big compliment. Uh, I love all my players. Uh, a lot of people, I don't think, understand me and understand the relationship I have with my players. Of his 118 wins, 20 of them leading to an MIAA title in 2016, none mean more than to send off his players with a better life after their playing careers. My legacy is no longer about winning championships and what job I have. My legacy is am I a good husband, am I a good parent, am I a good grandpa now? And uh, how did I affect the lives of the people that came across my path? And, and uh, that's one of the things I'm really proud of is the amount of players that I think that Coach Smith and myself and my staff through all my years of coaching, that we've been able to help kids that maybe were first generation college kids that haven't had this opportunity. So after a seven year career full of him getting red in the face, expressing his passion and desire. He goes out on his own, and he deserved that. I'm at peace today, and that's the most important thing.